Oh wait, the boat has two holes in it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're excited today. If you guys saw our last video, you know I'm turning a pressure washer into a boat motor and we're going to be putting it on our, I think a 12 foot John boat. So let's just say in this video things do not go quite as planned and uh, we learned a couple of things. But thanks you guys so much for tuning in for another video. Let's get into it. Well, it's full of water, but we got to drag it up and over to the trailer. Over this tree. That's not going to be very fun. Whoa, oh, careful. Hey, watch out. It's got to go on the trailer. Whew, we got plants growing in it. Boat. I got the boat. Okay. It's all loaded up. We're going to have to adjust the trailer a little bit so it'll fit better on there. But it's going to work. Good boy, Goosey went for a little swim. Lots of mosquitoes down here. Let's go. Oh, Maverick, what do you think? I like it. You like it? Oh, dirty. It's dirty. We're going to have to do some cleanup. So this is going to be our boat project. The motor y'all have seen, this is what it's going on. we got a lot of work to do. There's absolutely no transom to it. So we've got to build a new transom that we can actually hook our... Whoa, look at that spider. That we can actually hook our uh, motor to on there. Uh, it leaks in a couple of spots and we got to make it not shiny i'm going to use this for fishing for hunting for anytime we want to go out and just go cruise up the rivers and stuff like that this is what we're going to use so i want to make sure it's uh, in tip-top condition so we can go boating huh mappy yeah. yeah so we'll build a platform up here for goose so goose can come with us um i've thought about even building a deck up here so we can have like a little bit of a fishing platform now this won't be a massive like big deal fishing type boat just something for us to kind of cruise around on and use it basically however we want we just want it to be completely functional with a little bit of an engine on the back that's where the pressure washer is going to come in we're going to bolt that on the back of there and we'll have a fully functional uh john boat i'm going to wash it up and we'll clean it up get all this crap out of it kind of see what exactly we're working with and we'll keep you updated with what we decide to do with it let me show you guys the two holes we have real quick so number hole one is right here pretty decent hole and it looks like there's been a hole there and a hole there that have been patched so really maybe i should try and find something else to do with those holes and then the second one is right here now you might be asking yourself why don't you just weld them it's aluminum i don't have an aluminum welder so i might be able to find somebody that will do it for me uh, but more likely i'll just have to come up with a redneck patch and hope that it works <laughs> okay so i got the handles taken off of here and this is going to take a little bit of maneuvering to get this edge because it's been dented here and it's bowed up here so i'm going to measure this we're going to get a piece of wood cut for here we're going to have to use the planer the table saw basically every tool that i have to kind of get this to work but fingers crossed we should be able to it's going to be a little bit tricky getting the wood in there i still haven't figured out how i'm going to do that typically um it would get this re-riveted re on, which I may do. If I do that, though, I'm going to make the transom a lot bigger and beefier than it is. But we're going to go with this. We'll put it on there, see how it works. And if it doesn't work, then we'll go down the further rabbit hole of trying to do it in another way. But I'm going to get the planer out, get it all set up, get this cut, and we'll show you guys, hopefully, putting it in. Cut my new transom out of a uh, pressure-treated 2 by 10 uh, but it's too thick, so we're going to use the planer here to shave it down. This is pretty nifty. It'll just take off however much I want it to up to an eighth of an inch, so I'll have to run it through a couple of times. <laughs> So I'm pretty stumped as to how this is supposed to go in here because it'll fit. This is the perfect size. I measured it all, but there is no way in heck to get this to slide in here, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to have to come up with a plan B, which I don't know what it's going to be yet. The only thing I think is I cut it in half at an angle and then I put it in here. And then once it's in here, then I drill basically lag bolts through here. And that will fasten it all together and hopefully give it the strength it needs. 
Yeah, I don't really know. So I decided to just take out that piece to do this, do it right. But you can see how bent this back one is. It fits there and it's not even close over here. So I'm going to have a lot of banging and hammering and trying to tweak this to get this to actually fit in there. I uh, spent a couple hours, we took the family out, went to a bunch of different stores, found a bunch of different parts, hopefully everything that we need. And so I got the new tools and everything. As you guys saw last night, I got that board put in, but we need to put this like that. So now I have everything to rivet that on there and do that. So we're gonna get started on that. I wanna get that finished. I also have some water sealer that I'm gonna seal that board with. That board should technically never get wet, but you know how it is. It might get wet. So I'm gonna start off doing that. We'll keep you guys updated with how this goes. We'll just get after it. I didn't want to have to do what I did, but I did it, and y'all, it turned out amazing. I'm actually really stoked about it. It uh, seems super, super solid. I've got to just drill in the two handles that go here and here. Um, they're, you know, use it to strap it down, use it to lift it, whatever we need. So I'm going to screw those in. I bought new hardware at Lowe's or Tractor Supply for that. So I'm going to get those put in. And then we should be able to start figuring out how we're going to actually mount the motor to it. I'm so excited about this, you guys. We're doing it right. So this should last as long as we'll ever have it. Well, I say that, but I mean, who knows? The boys could keep this boat and, you know, use it. Or we might make it really nice and then end up selling it and doing it again or something. I tend to do that quite a bit. But, yep, looks like I got the screws. Let's screw these on the backside and see what they look like. All right, y'all, I am so stoked with that. That is as strong as it can be. I'll probably come up here and cut these off. These are stainless steel hardware, by the way, so we shouldn't have any rusting or anything like that. Um, and it's all siliconed. Should be pretty much watertight for the rest of ever. But I, I have to build the motor mount to actually mount the motor onto the back of the boat. And that's where these cheap Harbor Freight clamps come in. I've got to build some sort of platform thing the engine's got to mount onto there somehow so i'm not sure how we're going to do it i'm going to do a little bit of designing try and figure it out and i'll show you guys kind of what i come up with well, this is kind of what i came up with that's two extra pieces of the sign that i cut down so basically it will pivot like that and then i'll clean those up so then it will pivot on that one like that so i think that's what we're going to go with at least i'm going to give that a try first I'm gonna tack that all together, kind of get it all welded, see how it starts looking. And if it's good, we'll just continue on. Y'all, I have literally just been procrastinating this for as long as I could because I didn't know how I was gonna do it. This is gonna mount here on a screw or on a bolt and it will pivot. And then this will mount to this. This is the motor mount and this will pivot it up and down, left and right. Oh my gosh, I am so, so stinking stoked with how this is turning out. It's literally, I mean, we're like a couple welds away, gotta drill a hole, bolt that in and drill a hole through that. These are just gonna get welded. I'll measure it out, weld that one on there. And we're gonna be literally golden, ready to mount the engine in no time at all. I am so stoked with how this has turned out. This is just an extra piece of the sign. I drilled it out. I drilled it out, cut them like so, drilled them out. And then they just sandwich next to each other like that with the bolt through them. That will obviously get a nut on it. 
and will sit just like that. <laughs> I am so excited. Go, oh, come on. Okay, so this needs a washer. And that goes on like that. So I decided to just tack weld that nut on there. This is the uh, swivel this way because it's just gonna keep, oh heck. No, I think it's gonna work. It's gonna, it would just keep loosening itself and I'd be fighting that problem forever. So that's where it stays, I guess. Hopefully that's gonna work. When this cooled, it warped, but it should be all right because um, the motor will hopefully straighten it out a little bit. So moment of truth, y'all. Let's put the dang motor on. I took off the shaft because I want to weld a little bit on the shaft and actually cut some of the shaft off to make it a little bit thinner. So let's go ahead. Let's throw the motor on here. See if it all lines up and see if this holy crazy contraption is going to work. Ouch. Oh yeah. We have a motor mounted on the John boat for the first time ever. A pressure washer engine of all things. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to throw the back on here. So I need to weld on a handle, something that comes off of here so that I can steer it. It's gonna take a little bit of guessing and figuring out to as how we actually want that to work. Um, whew. I'm just so stoked that we've gotten it to this point. This, this is a big, big, big deal. Okay, y'all, moment of truth. I got it mounted on here. Um, I'm realizing now, if you look at this, it's a little flimsy under there. So I'm probably gonna just have to add some metal reinforcements. Make sure you're facing that. <laughs> so I might have to add some reinforcements, but we're gonna start it up and see if uh, it all stays together, the rod at least and all that, so. Let's give it a try. I honestly think his propeller is a little bit. Marcus, what were you saying? You honestly thought, what did... No, that's not what I said. I'm I said... Sure that's what you were saying. I said, I think your propeller is a little small. Um, they're actually meant to be small, but yes. It's a small propeller. Well, so... yeah. Clearly, that one was made to be small. But you can get bigger ones. <laughs> the question is... Oof! You know, you can only go when it's like eight feet deep. No, this is meant to go in literally two inches. Then why is it so freaking long? Because it spreads out. It's a, called a mud motor, Mars, and it's meant to be like that. I don't think so. I think I got to readjust it because it's very tail heavy and cranking on this thing to hold it down is going to be a little bit tricky. Well, why don't you just make a little thing right there that then, like... Yeah, if this came out longer, it would be better. But still, I'd love to have it more balanced on the transom. Or right now, it's not balanced on the transom at all. How, oh. how long are we talking? Huh? How long are we talking? Oh, this could come out here and I could... I really <laughs> want to put a bar in right here that I hold <laughs> and then you steer it like this. <laughs> Marcy's clearly never seen this because this is how they look. Uh, She's thinking of like a city boat or something. Uh, oh, no. no. I'm asking how long is it going to take? Oh. <laughs> how long is it going to take? I have no idea. Like to, to readjust it. Well. You have to redo basically everything you've done for the last hour. No, I just have to move one bracket, but the problem is, is I welded the bracket on completely. Not thinking I'd have to potentially redo it. Well, that's it for this video, everybody. We hope you enjoyed. <laughs>
<laughs> Mars. I'm ready to just go take it down to the lake or something though. I know, you might as well. Okay, this is my thinking. You might as well go take it out and test it and then figure out all the things you need to fix instead of fixing one and then figuring out you actually have to fix three different things. All right, let's do that. Oh, yes. Maverick, where's your life jacket? Did you get it? No, too high. It's what? Too high. Too high? Yeah. yeah. When do we wear life jackets? When we're in the water. In the water. Good job. My gas. My gas. I was just saying about Crandall, and he says to me, Oh, wait, the boat has two holes in it. So, I have this epoxy putty. Stuff is magical. How long will it take? It says 15 minutes. Oh, so by the time you get there. Yeah. Is it going to stick? I have no idea. If this does work, I'll be pretty excited. So I guess I'm taking Maverick out on the voyage expedition of this boat. Um, the, hi, Goose. I just ran down to the pond and got our paddle. Um, I really hope we don't have to use this, but we're going to be prepared and bring it. My homemade contraption may or may not work. Uh, you guys probably already know by the title or thumbnail if it worked. Um, this is pretty much hardened. Definitely, I think by the time we get there, it'll be completely solid. I will be so stoked if that works. It feels like it probably is going to. And, uh, that will be just absolutely great because then I don't have to worry about welding it. All right, let's go get Maverick. Get loaded up. And I think we're going to be pulling out of here. Oh, you got me some snacks? Thanks. Some whales and... What are they? Wells and fruit snacks? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You ready to go for an adventure? Yeah. Say, love you, Mama. Bye. Mama, bye. Um, where's my hug in case? Uh, uh, hurry, hug, kiss. Hurry, hug, kiss, Mama. I love you. Yeah. Be safe. Listen to Daddy and don't, don't do what? Daddy, go in the water. Go in the water. <laughs> Okay, let's go try it out. So the water's down about at least a foot, maybe two feet. This is not an actual boat ramp, but I see guys launching here all the time. I never have, because I've never had a boat. But we're gonna give it a try anyhow. So far, this seems, it's pretty solid sand here. Woo! Until you get out about a foot. Then it's super soft. Okay, I think I'm just gonna back the trailer down into the water and I'll just pull it off and unload it and load it by hand. It really doesn't weigh much at all. So that will be the easiest way of doing it, I think. Yeah, glad I didn't go back any further. It gets deep over there. There we go. That's perfect, that ain't, that ain't bad at all. Go sit on the other seat. Yep, right there. Let's put your life jacket on. See that gate? Hang on. Just gotta get in.
until it didn't. Well, shoot. <laughs> Our prop just spun off the flange, which means I didn't tighten it tight enough, which I didn't even think about doing. No! It was doing so good. Our uh, leak. It's not leaking anymore, which is great. So, shoot, Maverick, I forgot the tool. Dang it, I should have brought a pair of pliers. Well, we're stranded.